I am now joined by uh, Mr. Paul Lingdo, the working president of the United Democratic Party. Uh, Mr. Paul Lingdo, how are you looking at the violent situation that is going on in Shillong? Well, it's a very unfortunate uh, turnout of events. Uh, but the fact of the matter is that this has been a long pending matter, which could uh, have been resolved had uh, the, the uh, government of the past, uh, led by the Congress, had the uh, political will to sort matters out. It's very uh, ticklish, and uh, all that needed to be done uh, was for the government to rehabilitate these sweepers from the present uh, uh, location to uh, a, a more ideal location. Uh, what is happening now is that because of the continuous acts of uh, violence and intimidation, uh, things have snowballed into a law and order situation. Right. Uh, Mr. Polnindo, now, now that your party, the UDP, is an alliance partner of the present government in Meghalaya, what will be your suggestion right. to the state government? What are you going to tell the state government? We are most likely meeting the chief minister on Monday. Uh, our uh, agenda is very clear. We would like to see that uh, this particular habitation, uh, which today has become a den of anti-social activities, should be shifted. And uh, that uh, uh, the, the government should uh, stand firm and commit itself to removing these sweepers from the... Because uh, in the name of sweepers, a lot of uh, uh, other individuals, in fact, a majority of them, have uh, settled in this particular area uh, and indulging in activities that uh, always lead to de breach of peace and law and order. Right. Uh, as a responsible political leader, Mr. Paul Lingdo, are you a little bit worried and concerned that the agitators have resorted to stone pelting as a means of protest? We are concerned about the situation. Uh, and we would like to see that it is resolved at the earliest. Uh, that can only happen when the uh, government exercises political will to sort matters out. And uh, no solution uh, should elude a problem like this. The only thing that was lacking in the past was, you, you know, that this uh, community of settlers had used the office of uh, you, you know, the uh, Congress uh, government at that point of time, the scheduled caste commission and others to seek protection. But today, uh, since the government already has made alternative arrangement to accommodate these uh, sweepers, uh, in fact, uh, when I was in charge of urban affairs, we had gone ahead and even proposed for a multi-level parking lot at that particular site. Right. The proposal had gone to the ministry but uh, because of uh, pressures at that level at, in Delhi, uh, the matter could not uh, could not uh, be taken to its logical end. Uh, lastly, lastly, Mr. Paul Lingdo, what is your appeal to the agitators at this point in time? Because Shillong or Meghalaya is a popular tourist destination as well. Uh, good sense should prevail. And I am sure that uh, uh, with all of us uh, uh, wishing uh, Meghalaya a new beginning with the formation of the new government, uh, it is only fair that the new government be given uh, adequate time to resolve matters. And uh, then only I am sure that uh, we can, uh, 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 semblance of order can be maintained immediately and uh, complete law and order should be uh, achievable in the next couple of uh, days or so. But uh, do you suspect uh, any political uh, hand behind this current riots, or do you think it's a uh, usual uh, difficult situation? Uh, well, uh, I, the way I see things, uh, I really can't point to any political conspiracy at this stage. Uh, I think it was a more... Uh, a matter of you know uh, uh, long uh, pending frustration of uh, people having encountered right. uh, repeated acts of intimidation that this has snowballed into a bullet, uh, law and order situation. But, right. Uh, at, uh, as of this point, no, I don't suspect a political hand. Right. Uh, thank you very much. That was Mr. Paul Lingdo, the working yes, president sir. of the UDP.